Christoph, komm! Hey, Chuck here. Just thought I'd share some thoughts I had with you about the uh, 4th of July, since 4th of July is now upon us. We're out in uh, West Virginia, a little place we have out there. Away from the big city and everything else like that. Uh, away from listening to the radio and all we're here. A whole lot of the political means and everything that's going on. And with the uh, 4th of July now, most most families will be celebrating with uh, cookouts and picnics and going to the swimming pool and to be around with family, which is important. But I think we all need to reflect back at exactly what happened on the 4th of July back at 1776 when uh, our forefathers gathered together Independence Hall up in Philadelphia to put their signature on a letter to King George stating that we no longer wanted to be part of the English colony but we wanted to be independent from that. Our independence, our freedom. And these men in those days put a whole lot on the line. They put their wealth and most of them were pretty wealthy landowners, men's of, men of great means, where they could just lose everything. And it wouldn't be just all their, their uh, fortunes that they would lose, but their lives also. And this would have been for treason that they could have been arrested for if we would have lost the war. And the penalty for treason was to be drawn and quartered. And I won't go into that exactly what that means, but uh, look it up. I'm sure it's eye-opening what drawn and quartered actually means. But they were willing to do that, to put their lives on the line in unity for one cause. And that was to have freedom, which we so greatly enjoy today. This freedom that we sometimes just take for granted. But there's been many wars that's been fought so that we can maintain this freedom. And I think we're going through a big battle today. Freedom. Freedom. One thing about history is sometimes we just never learn from it. We can look back at it and see where this country came from, how united it was during World War II, how united it was during World War I and all the previous conflicts that we went through. But today, as I think about this country, I hope that we still have that spirit of unity where we can all come together for one cause, but I just see so much trivial politics, I guess is the only way you could uh, sum it up, that's dividing this country. I see socialism trying to creep in and there's not been one country in this world that has ever prospered under socialism but yet this country has prospered so greatly under freedom under capitalism but yet some want to turn back and try the ways that we know just doesn't work well I am encouraged because of the a lot of the traveling that we did across the country where well, we got into middle America and we really see what this country is made out of. We see people that fly the flag, that love this country, that have fought for this country. And as I think today about the uh, gentleman that we met at the Boeing Museum back on July or I'm sorry, uh, June, the, June the 5th, uh, D-Day, the celebration for D-Day. He was 94 years old. And to hear his account of being a pilot on a B-17 flying missions over France prior to when the troops set out on D-Day and then after that 
flew 30, I forget, 34, 35 missions, whatever it was, the maximum amount of missions that you can fly. And to hear him, and just to hear the, the pride in his voice, well, we're losing that generation that is now just fading away. What is this next generation going to do? Are they going to be willing to stand up for the freedoms so that this country can continue for the next 200 years and have freedom? I think we're at a very dangerous point. And I hope we all get involved to see that this country stays on the principles it was founded upon. Yes, God, family, and country. Well, thanks. I just thought I'd share those things that was on my heart, on my mind today is 4th of July. Yes, we are going to celebrate our families up here. We have uh, some of the grandkids and all, and we're going to have a picnic. We're going to go see a parade. We're going to go to fireworks and enjoy all the things that this country has provided us with. Well, thank you for watching. Thank you for listening to my little rant on the 4th of July. God bless America and God bless this country. Thanks for watching.